Politics lead now. It's a crisis of confidence with the American people and with the president's own party. Today, the House passed the Keep Your Health Plan bill, which would give insurance companies the option of extending coverage plans through next year. Plans that they were supposed to cancel, but now they're allowed to. They won't be complying with Obamacare. It's an odd little twist. And while the president has promised a veto if the bill ever makes it to his desk, here's the kicker. 39 Democrats crossed party lines to push this bill through. And if you ask Republicans, President Obama's unforced errors on Obamacare have put his legacy on the line. Mr. Speaker, across generations, presidencies are often associated with one famous utterance. Ask not what your country can do for you. The only thing we have to fear, tear down this wall. And our current president will be no different. If you like your health care plan, you can keep it, period. He left out, uh, read my lips. Exactly. So is this a presidency in crisis? Let's bring in our panel from CNN's Crossfire, Republican strategist S.E. Cup, Freshly married, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. President of the Center for American Progress, Neera Tandon, and CNN chief political analyst, Gloria Borger. So, Neera, do you think Mr. Upton there is making too big a deal out of this, or does this really have the potential to be the line that people remember the president for saying in the same way that Bush Sr. has read my lips? So I think, look, I actually think most of what's energizing uh, the issues right now are the fact that the website doesn't work. It is actually, it's fueling the issue with the losses because people can't see what their better options would be when they're better on the on the website itself. So I think the big challenge here, and it's a big challenge for people who believe that government should have a role, is for this website to work. If the website works, if the law is successful over the next year or so, or in the next several months and into the next year, then I think that this will recede as an issue. I don't think it's a, I think the president has generally had a lot of credibility with the American people. I think we shouldn't judge the entire moment but uh, the entire presidency now. for this. He's underwater now on the honest and trustworthy mm -hmm. numbers. It's totally flipped. He's lost 10 points since October. And so, you know, now I think he's got to get his credibility back. But he also has to prove competency, mm -hmm. which, which was never, you know, everybody assumed, okay, you know, Barack Obama's a smart guy. And, and, and the fact that he did not know and is clearly upset he did not know raises a question of, of competency because he should have known. Somebody should have told him about the disaster that they were facing on this website. Well, and there's, there's, there's two issues there, uh, to, to both of your, your points. Um, to the competency point, um, this is now becoming a pattern. Uh, he didn't know. He didn't know about the IRS scandal that was about to erupt just before his re-election campaign uh, was set, was set in, in November. He didn't know the scope of the NSA spying program and then had to apologize to his allies. He didn't know about the Obamacare glitches. Either he is severely understaffed and, and no one's really telling him about the hurdles coming up, or there's just a real lack of accountability accountability and so there's 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 the incompetence but then there's also the deception is he is he misleading us this democrats okay. wanted so, bush uh, <laughs> impeached for misleading us so th okay. that's a real I, problem i think it's a great analogy to go to bush who lied about weapons of mass destruction around a war which is a very different thing on irs scandal i think everything we know about that quote unquote scandal is that it's a false scandal so i think it's a great well, issue as example true. <laughs> <laughs> i think Actually, that is true. But we could. But but then that aside, look, look, look. I he did, didn't there, think it was a false. Look, scandal. I did think he I, wanted it investigated. I, there were and reasons, it was investigated, and they had a result. But there are reasons you scandal. don't. Let's stick to the Obamacare issue. <laughs> but there are reasons you don't bring the, to the president certain things. He's the top of the pyramid. I can understand on IRS, for example, the minute that story were to go into the Oval Office, it becomes a question of what did the president know and when did he know? And it? did he try and manage it? And did he did he try and deal with the IRS? And that's a whole can of worms. So if you're chief of staff, you're looking at that, you're thinking, maybe I'm not going to bring that to him because I need to protect him, right? On this, I don't think there's any such issue. I totally agree. Look, right. I absolutely agree that it is a big problem. This website doesn't work. As an advocate of the law. I want the website to work. And I think whoever is responsible for this, there needs to be accountability at the end of the day. See, that's wanna, what's driving the I want to ask you, the, this Upton bill that yeah. passed the House today, uh, which would give insurance companies, allow them to, or to, to extend these plans that have been canceled. John Boehner, according to the National Review, John Boehner has said that this is part of their strategy, not to fix Obamacare, but to get rid of Obamacare. Mm -hmm. Why not have a strategy to try to fix it? 
Well, certainly Republicans are going to need to fill in those blanks. And I think they're going to be very surprised and caught sort of uh, uh, by surprise when and if Obamacare really does unravel. And then there is no alternative. They're not offering anything up. I think for the first time um, in the past three years, it's a real possibility that Obamacare is gutted uh, from Democrats, from Republicans, whomever, so much so that it needs to be completely fixed and altered. And Republicans better be the ones with those solutions. Or we're, we're, we're just going to look petulant. Ten seconds, Nira, go. I think the big <laughs> challenge with the Epton bill is that it actually raises costs for people. That's going to be the fine print. That's always been the problem with offering an alternative. It always makes the problem worse. That's, Republicans have to own that. That's Nira, the, the bride, and Gloria. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations yes, again. It's Nira, comma, the, the bride. bride. Comma, <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much.